and welcome back to part 12 of our S3 service playlist. So in this video we are going to learn what is course. Course stands for cross origin resource sharing and here we are going to take some introduction of it and then we'll move on to the hands on. So let's start. So now let's take some introduction of the course. So course stands for cross origin resource sharing. Here, origin is the combination of scheme, which is also called as protocol, plus host, which is also called as domain, plus the port. So, origin is the combination of three things. First is scheme and host and port. So, now let's take an example of origin. So, let's say this is the origin link. So, here we have protocol as HTTPS. And as the protocol is HTTPS, the port is of course going to be 443 and the domain here is Google. So this is the origin example. It is a web browser based mechanism which allows to request to other origin while visiting the main origin. So let's say we are on our main origin and we are accessing our index.html page and from the index.html page we are going to request to other origin for some images. So we are going to see the same example into our hands-on project. So now let's see the difference between same origin and difference origin. So this is first of all the same origin. The whole link is same but only the pages are different. So the origin are same here and in different origin the origin is only different. Here is www and here is any. So this is the example of different origin. So now let's move on to see the working of the cross origin resource sharing. So for the working of the cross origin resource sharing here first of all we have our main origin which is https www.practice.com and then we have the other orig origin which is also called as the cross origin which is www.test.com so here we have two origin one is the main origin and second is the cross origin we can also say it other origin. So here we have the web browser and the web browser is going to make the request to our main origin and will get the file which we which it has requested for. Afterwards, the web browser is going to make the pre flight request to the cross origin and it will include the options and the host and origin part into the request. After requesting to the cross origin, the cross origin will, will respond with the pre flight respond and in the respond it will add its header and in the header it will say that we have allowed the https www.practice.com for the methods like get, put and delete. So your main origin which is www.practice.com can uh, do the request of get, put and delete. So afterwards the response is given to the web browser. The web browser will again request or will do a get request to the cross origin to get some files and in the request it will include the host and origin. So the web browser will get the files from the cross origin while he is visiting the main origin. So this is the working of the cross origin resource sharing. Now let's take some introduction about course. So to allow the client's cross origin request, we need to enable the course header. So we need to go to our S3 bucket and we need, we'll find the course headers option there. We need to edit that option and we need to enable it. We can allow the request into the specific origin or in all the origins. So you can specify the origin or you can allow the request for all the origin by using star. So now let's move on to the real time example of course. Now let's take a real time example of cross origin resource sharing. So first of all here we have our web browser and then we have our bucket which is named as my first bucket and in this bucket we are going to store our all the html pages. Then we have the second bucket and in the second bucket we are going to store our images of our html files which is stored in the first bucket. Then the web browser is going to make the request is going to make the get request to the bucket and in the request it is going to specify the host also. Then the bucket is going to respond with the index.html file and the web browser will get the index.html file. Then the web browser is going to make the cross request, cross origin request to the second bucket in which we have stored our files. So the web browser will make the get request for the images and will specify the host and origin in it. Then the 
image bucket which is in the cross origin is going to respond with the headers and it will say that it has allowed the the main origin and the methods are get put and delete and then afterwards the web browser will get the images from the cross origin to the index.html page so that's the real time example of cross origin resource sharing now let's move on to the hands on of it and do perform the hands on now let's take the demo of cross origin resource sharing so first of all for that we need to create two different bucket one for our main origin and second for the other origin so for main origin we are going to use our previous bucket so i'm going to use my bucket bucket 18 let's open it into a new tab this is the public bucket and i have created the bucket policy and attached to it right so now we are going to create a new bucket for other origin this bucket is for main origin and the other bucket which we are going to create is for the other origin so let's click on create the bucket and give the name as the Akriti other origin. Okay, so everything else we are going to take it by default only. Now let's create the bucket. So our S3 Akriti other origin bucket is also created. Now let's open it into the other tab. So our bucket is successfully opened, right? So now we have to go to our main origin bucket and here first of all we are going to upload both our files of HTML. First we are going to perform the same origin resource sharing and then we will go on to the cross origin resource sharing. So first of all we need to go to our index.html file and we need to change the file. Let's go to the visual studio and you can see the commented text here. So let's uncomment it is for the cross origin resource sharing demo so this code is going to fetch the extra dot html page into the index dot html page so the extra dot html page is here it is saying that this is an extra demo page so in the index dot html page the extra dot html page will be fetched down here so save this file and let's upload both the files into the same bucket let's go to the browser and upload the file click on add files and add both the files extra and index click on open and let's upload the file close it our file is successfully uploaded here so now let's go to the properties part and down there we'll be able to see the static website hosting copy it and paste it on the browser so here we are able to see both the pages this is the index.html page part and this is the extra.html page right as i told that the extra.html page contains this is a extra demo page so on our index.html page the extra.html page is fetched so now this is called as same origin because both the files are located into the same bucket. Now we have to upload the extra.html page into the other origin bucket. So first of all for that we need to go to the properties part. We have to make this bucket publicly accessible. So let's go to the versioning. Let's edit the versioning also. Let's edit it and save the changes. And then let's go to the permissions part here and let's edit the block public access part. Let's un uh, allow the public access and save the changes. It is of course a crucial or a confidential option so it will ask for the confirmation. Confirm it and now our objects are publicly accessible but we need to make our bucket accessible so for that we need to attach the bucket policy. So let's go to our main origins bucket and copy the bucket policy of that bucket and paste into the other origins bucket. Copy it and let's paste it into our other origin bucket policy. Click on edit and paste the policy into the policy part here. We need to just change the ARN of the bucket as the ARN is different for every bucket. 
So let's copy this bucket ARN and paste here. Okay, so we have successfully pasted our policy here. Now we have to save the changes. So our bucket policy will be attached to the bucket and our bucket is now publicly accessible. So now let's upload the extra.html page here as we want to do the cross origin resource sharing demo. So let's go to the objects part and click on upload and add the extra.html page here. Click on upload and let's wait till the file is uploaded. Okay, so the file is uploaded now. Let's close it. And now we will delete the file from the main origin. Let's go to the objects part of my bucket uploaded 18 and let's delete the extra.html page from here. Click on delete and the file will be deleted. Okay, we want to permanently delete the file. So on the toggle button and we'll permanently delete the file. We don't want to add this file to a delete marker, so we will permanently delete it, right? Okay, so the file is deleted successfully. So, as we have deleted our extra.html page, let's go to our website and refresh the page. So, we are not able to see the extra.html page here as we have deleted it. Now, we have to bring this page from the second bucket, which is from the other origin, we can say. So let's go to the bucket and let's go to the object of the bucket which is extra.html page and click on the public URL of it and paste the URL into the second tab. We, here we are able to see the extra.html page. So now copy the link of the file and let's go to the Visual Studio. Open your index.html page here and in the fetch part, delete this extra.html page and paste the link which we have copied. Save the file and now we have to upload this file to our main origin bucket. So let's go to the main origin bucket and upload the new index.html page. Upload the file here. Click on upload. Let's wait. Okay, so the file is uploaded successfully now. Close it. So now let's go to the website URL and refresh our page. So here the error has gone, but the extra.html page is not yet being seen. So to solve this error, we need to first know that what is the error. So let's go to the three dots. Go to the more tools here and go to the developer tools. So here in the console we are able to see the some error here. So it is saying that access to fetch at this from HTTP this origin has been blocked by cross origin resource sharing policy. So first of all now as I told in earlier video that we have to enable the cross origin resource sharing headers into the bucket so let's go to our other origin bucket and let's go to the permissions part here and down here we are able to see the cross origin resource sharing edit it and here we have to apply some json format or we can say some labels so let's go to the visual studio i have already created the file for it which is course config dot json. So copy this and paste it into the cross origin resource sharing part. So in the course config part, we have three parameters. First is the allowed headers. Then we have the allowed methods, which is get. We have to specify the origin which we are allowing. And last is the expose headers. So we are going to specify the specific origin here. So we have to copy and paste the URL. So we have to go to the first bucket. And in that we have to go to our static website hosting URL. And here we have to copy this URL and paste it to the course part into the other bucket. So delete this. And let's once again copy. And paste the URL here without slash 
do not add the slash into the url delete it okay so we have added the url of our first bucket into the other origin bucket this is the second bucket and this was the first bucket where we have took the website url and pasted into the second bucket now once we have edited our cross origin resource sharing part let's save the change here after the changes are saved let's go to the first bucket's website url which is this and let's refresh the page again let's see the error is going or not okay so here we are not able to see any errors now as we have enabled our chorus headers in our second bucket and here of course we are able to see the extra.html page is fetched so the index.html is from the main origin and the extra.html page is from the cross origin which is here you can see that in the first bucket we don't have any extra.html page and in second bucket we have the extra.html page so from one origin or we can say from the main origin the file is being accessed from the cross origin which is extra.html page so that's it for the video meeting you in the next video